The first one was a community based entrepreneur. This is the guy who was charging a five bob on a local government facility run by a group of boys. So that is a group or community entrepreneur. The other one was uh, an individual entrepreneur who was on his own but with the, with the necessary equipment for his work. Eh? That guy was an old man working for himself but without the necessary equipment because unlike the second guy, he didn't have a pump, a truck or anything. <laughs> The most interesting thing about the three of them is they are liquid. And uh, the liquidity is also guaranteed because this is a daily thing. Every day people are using the, 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 the latrines, toilets. So business will always be there. That was a very wonderful film I saw. In fact, I never thought uh, it is happening in Kenya as a we all, we all saw that. What I saw, the first thing was uh, a lot of creativity, a lot of innovation, a lot of entrepreneurship. Th those skills were demonstrated very well by those three entrepreneurs. And uh, even going by le the level or the kind of businesses they are trying to do in that kind of uh, an environment, that informal settlement. So I'm saying I really got shocked that people can really go down that fast so that they create even employment for, for themselves. So I'm saying there is a lot of courage. Kasiago, Nyakubeba, show. Kuto a show. Show it kija ni si tunato wa gapa. Na tu kwa tuwe gitana. Kwa hivyo si kasiye tu nyakuto a show tu. Hii kasiye tu tunabanjaga na 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 mugoteni. Tu kwa kwa do, tu kwa kwa drum. Tukapeleka <laughs> Ni washuri yake lakini watu wa jirani wa barabara ukikutana na mtu barabara unaona anafanya hivi ana hii mtoa mata na wewe akiwata na kitu kama mata wewe ukasheka hii ni kusheka tu ni ni tunachukua kibaya tukaacha makizata hii tukaenda kumwaga na mimi nafanya hii kazi miaka saidi ya miaka 30 na imelea watoto yangu na hii kazi na wengine wengi ile nilea na hii kazi you are talking about sanitation and the health this is very crucial for us because, again, we want to protect the diseases, outbreak of diseases. We are hearing from TV, we are seeing from TVs, we are seeing people dying because of malaria, cholera, and the rest. So this is an opportunity for us as a bank to partner with the private sector to kind of even create employment, and number two, again, bring people together for a cleaner environment. Mimi ni mwanachama wa chama ambacho kinafanya kinahifadhi cho hichi na kwa miaka mingi sana kumekuwa na matatizo sana katika mtaa wetu huu. Kitu cha kwanza hapo awali kulikuwa na watu wa city council ambao ndio walikuwa na maintain hizi cho na kwa miaka mingi walirudi wakasusia na waliposusia ndio sisi kama community ama wana kijiji tuliamua kuchukua nafasi hiyo. Community inafurahia kazi yetu, community na appreciate kazi yetu. Na so far, hiyo kazi yenyewe pia kumbali na community kwa appreciate pia sisi wenyewe, imetusaidia ki maisha. Kwa sababu wapo awali pia uhalifu ulikuwa kwa nyakati hizi, umepungu, u, u, wali, wali, wali wacha kabisa. Ni wengi wale wanakata huwa hawakuji kwa choo, wanatumia ma, ma flying toilets, na mara mingi huwa wanatutatiza kivingine kwa sababu mbali na cho upande wa mazingara pia sisi ndio uangalia. Kwa hivyo mara mingi tukirudi upande wa mazingara huwa tunapata vitu kama vinyesi kwenye makaratasi na maplastiki hapo nje. Hizo ndio challenge ambazo tumeweza kukumbana nazo. For me as a banker I can enhance 
the potential, that potential. I can enhance the potential in a way that uh, will instill financial discipline to them. For instance, all that they are collecting every day, they can be saving it. And a pilot to use the same as a collateral to buy, for instance, what the old man was saying, he doesn't have a pump. You just say for a couple of months, then you have enough to buy that pump. Hivi ya sara ni yasa 2008 kubuta sewage. Wateja wagu wagi ni wa Shrams na wanakuja kwa wagu sana juu awana sewages. Hivi ya na tu idio ya sara mzuri na mina. Hivi ya nalifaa. Haina stress. Na hiko na pesa haraka haraka. Mimi tangu yasa ikasi ni mefanya kasi mingi ni mefanya ni mejaga plot na naona ni kosawa na yo plot. Na ikasi yoni ikeo si mbaya, ikasi insani mzuri. The girl looks very liquid. So he needs to, she needs to go with that maid. Because it's about uh, grabbing the guy from the market and financing him. Eh? Then the other uh, is an old man who is also extremely liquid. Eh? But uh, in the same line of business. But uh, now he uh, is actually looking for financing. He want to buy a pump because he's doing it manually. Now, these guys, they have already acquired the market. The customers are already available. So the business itself is very viable. In terms of uh, uh, slums are not thing, things to do away with in, in Africa. If you just want, we can educate him. We talk with him, open account, a savings account, which does not have a ledger fee. He start operating the account slowly by slowly and therefore the bank will be able to see that Josephat has a source of income and therefore he can be able to, to service the, the facility. She does that to me here, I'm going to go to the bank. 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 I'm going to go to the Itaaje kitu ya kwaja sana itanunua fobo. Inanunua five ya kutoa nipeleke bali. Kwa sababu wako na show ingine iko karibu na na na, na sewage. Hiyo itaweka hiyo fobo inisaidie kupiga na kupeleka na hiyo five. Kwa hivyo ningeweza kuvua sana nikifuata hiyo. Nikipata kupata loan na sasa nunua gari lingine. Na kufanya hii biashara. Tukipata mfadhili ajitokeze anataka kutu support. Naamini kuwa tunaweza andika budget na tukiandika budget tumkabidhi na yeye mwenyewe angalie mali tatu support na sisi tupia tuangalie ni nini tuko nayo kidogo alisi tuchanganye tuone tutayamshaje ama tutaiendelezaje the biggest challenge we have with the three of them is uh, they don't have uh, knowledge or capacity to develop what we call a bankable proposal uh, there is a need there is a need to bridge the gap between the entrepreneur and the financial institution. The financial institution is very selfish in court because they want to see a final document, what we call a bankable proposal. You are saying you as an entrepreneur, you have potential, but put it in the writing. Let me as a banker look at your proposal and say there is money here. Convince me. These people, entrepreneurs, they are not learned. They cannot come up with that, and they don't have anywhere they are doing banking. So it becomes very hard to bridge this gap eh, between them and the bank. Eh? So if you can be able to, to resolve that issue, their problems will be finished.